Neil Young's mixing board. There she is. Plebis in Alabama writes to us and he says, Hey, Paul, I took the tour a while of PS Audio and Octave Records, uh, which everybody gets. Anybody wants to show up, just show on up, call us, make an appointment, come by, doesn't matter. We're always here for you. Uh, I took a tour a while back at PS Audio and was told that the mixing board in your new studio once belonged to Neil Young. What's the story on that? Is this the board from his recording sessions at The Barn that produced Harvest? E yes and no. So this board, which is a Studer, Studer's a Swiss company, make really good stuff. And we're very lucky to have acquired this board from Neil. Neil Young is good friends with the uh, mastering engineer and recording engineer here at Octave Records, Gus Skinnis. And uh, you can't see, but right behind us is a uh, model 2800 ARP synthesizer that's also Neil Young's and not many people know that. That was one of his original uh, pieces. Neil has a whole bunch of really cool stuff. This was Neil's personal board. This is the one that during the harvest and, and all of those recordings that was in his personal studio. This is where Neil would work out his tracks but it's not the actual board that recorded most of those. I think there are a few tracks that were actually recorded and put onto record from this board, from Neil, but generally this is the one where he would lock himself in a room, hook a microphone in here and play and mix and fool around and try and get his thoughts together and then go out into the actual recording studio and uh, and record the, the the albums that he had. So so no, generally this is uh, this was only his personal unit. I mean, pretty nice personal unit. And I got to tell you, this is one hell of a good sounding board. I I really love the way things sound here. And what we do at Octave Records, which is kind of cool, is we'll record everything in DSD. We then run it through this analog board do the mix on it and put it back onto DSD. And then for a final proof, we take it over to the IRS 5 room, Music Room 2 at PS Audio and give it a final listen, maybe give it a final tweak, uh, a change. We never use the EQ in here. This, this board has all kinds of compressors and EQ and really never use that. It's more just, just a wonderful sounding completely analog mixing board where Octave Records takes the output of our DSD Sonoma recorder. We have a 32 track recorder and we mix it on this, put it back onto the Sonoma system. And then in Octave Records mastering area is where Gus makes the final two channel mix, masters it, and you have wonderful music coming out of it. But I hope that answers your question. Thanks, Plebus. And uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.